The, the true genesis for Connect was actually all the way back during the Kickstarter campaign and we talked about how cool it would be to bring together all these developers who are, you know, pledging for DK1s yeah. for a, develop, like a developer conference sometime in the future. We're here today showing Crescent Bay and the reaction so far has been really positive and incredible. So Crescent Bay is just an internal prototype that we're showing. It's not actually a dev kit that we're shipping, but it has higher refresh rate, higher resolution, lighter weight, better ergonomics, integrated audio, 360 degree position tracking. Um, and better optics. The main thing really that Facebook has really impacted that's, that's very tangible and actually Brendan talked about this in his keynote today is that we've been able to go out and really hire the best and brightest people in the world. John actually has joined about a year ago yep. so it's been a while now and, and he's been working really hard on Gear VR. Um, Abe Rash joined uh, also fairly recently probably about six months ago and he's been working hard but these guys were both into VR before even Oculus got started. We got started we had a focus on a commercial product on consumerizing this, making it something that we could go out and build a community around and then hopefully eventually ship a consumer product and build a real company around. And that was attractive for those guys. They wanted to be part of the team that shipped the consumer product and really made a big difference and a big impact on the world. I'm doing what I've always done. I've been working with the hardware team to make sure that we have the best virtual reality product that we can, that we're able to productize a lot of our cutting edge innovations mm -hmm. and just getting this thing out the door as fast as possible and making sure we don't go astray. So Crescent Bay has a very high quality uh, audio pipeline from top to bottom. It, it's a huge step over our DK2. Yep. It's not as good as the consumer product is going to be. Everything that's in Crescent Bay is either going to be the same or better in the consumer product. You know, we went from being 75 people to over 175 people in the course of like six to eight months, six to seven months. Yep. And that was really because of there were a huge number of people that we wanted to get, couldn't get them for one reason or another, and post Facebook, they were they were in. It's not a hundred like bodies and seats, these are a hundred of the smartest engineers across the board. We've always open sourced as much as we can, like our SDK is open source, samples are open source, we open sourced the latency tester hardware a while back, uh, we were finally able to get together DK1 and open source, so that was a bigger project, but it's all the mechanicals, all the optics, all the firmware, everything that you need to build a DK1. Like you to build a DK1 clone. Um, DK2, we can't say specifically if we're going to be open sourcing it, but we, we open source as much as we can. So where we'd love to go out and evangelize and talk to you know developers and consumers and at the end of the day we have to build and ship something to change the world. And like that's the most important thing. Ultimately, this platform, this VR industry needs content and it needs content across all the different VR devices out there, especially the ones that are gonna end up to be popular and successful. So we're trying to work as closely as we can with developers, do everything we can to support them, encourage them, answer questions, guide them along the path, and give them the best tech that we can. So this is the Crescent Bay prototype, and the experience was the best Oculus, or really any virtual reality experience that I've ever had. Uh, I've tried.